Did you know that this Arduino ultrasound sensor is essentially a sonar? It works by sending out an ultrasonic ping and counting the time it takes to receive an echo in microseconds. Simple enough to code without relying on a library, we make sure the ultrasound pin is low, which means it's not sending out a pulse, then set it to high to send out a pulse and count the time it takes to hear an echo. We then convert this to our desired units and divide by two because the ping has had to travel to the object and back again. After performing our conversion, we now have the distance the object detected, which is simple enough in theory, but there can still be issues in practice. The measuring angle of this sensor is 30 degrees, so you can draw a cone extending from the sensor to imagine what it can and can't see. Its effective ranging distances are from 2 centimeters to 400 centimeters, so anything closer or further than this might give an inaccurate reading or not be detected at all. If you're using the sensor along with other sensors or more complex code, you might notice occasionally that the results are inaccurate. This is due to other processes the Arduino is running when the time is being measured. To get around this, you can disable interrupts after triggering your echo, then resume them after the measurement is completed. But even this can be a double-edged sword and can throw off other timers or disrupt serial communications with other sensors. But keeping these issues in mind could save you a lot of time when it comes to debugging your project and code.